Hello folks and welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to go through the development of a new rival adventuring party found in the Swamp of Souls and share their stat blocks so you can use them in your own adventures. I'm going to also share my art process as I chat away. For my Patreons I'll be including this crew in a full PDF handout for the whole town of Dusk and that's going to be including maps but I still need to add and develop more of the NPCs found in this starting hub and I'm going to put it all together so you have a fleshed out town to use in your own adventures and thank you for your continued support. Now some of you will have come across Tom Galloway and Slab recently in the animation short I did called We Meet in the Tavern. That was quite well received and if you're a subscriber that came from watching that thank you and welcome to the channel. I'll be doing more of those and I'll try to keep improving. I'm learning it's a tricky thing to take something you think's funny in your head and then deliver it in the real world with proper comedic timing. But I'm going to keep improving and you need to be bad at something before you get good at it is one of my mottos. If you want to see the adventure that video is based off check out episode 16 from this development blog. It's called the Bog Hang Challenge. And in the meantime I'm going to keep developing the larger world that that adventure is set in. And in this episode I'll flesh out Tom Galloway and his crew, a potential rival to your players as they begin their adventures in the Swamp of Souls. They will be found lounging around in the Grim Shank looking for their next opportunity. If that prospector known as Gumpty enters the bar, Galloway will call out and say something like, Ho oh there Gumpty! You look a bit excited there! Found something out in the swamp? And to which Gumpty? He'll scowl and shuffle past and shout back, I don't deal with the likes of you, gallows! Gumpty has heard the rumours about bad things happening to prospectors who hire the gallow crew, and he has an intense distrust of the man. So Tom Galloway, he's this devious warlock nicknamed Gallows, and he's driven by greed and has come to dusk to seek his fortune. He has been here only a few months and already rumours are spreading that he is a man not to be trusted. Prospectors he has worked with have gone missing out in the swamp under his watch. Currently, hampered by these rumours, he is finding it hard to secure work and is keeping his eyes and ears peeled, using his observant feet to read lips. This might involve tracking others as they journey into the swamp and then relieving them of their spoils when the opportunity presents itself. His crew consists of the giant man-child known as Slab, and a group of malicious goblins that find themselves lured by the dark whispers of Galloway's patron spirit, a long dead prospector driven by greed. Gallows is a cunning and calculating foe who will flee when the battle is not going his way, having his darkness spell up early in case he needs to retreat. He relies on Slab getting into the front line where he can cause havoc with his huge cleaver, while Gallows will hex and blast his enemies from a distance, preferably hidden in the darkness. For his own protection, he has also briefed goblins to focus and put pressure on casters and ranged attackers. With the darkness spell I homebrew that a little bit, same with invisibility rules. I have the attacker need to succeed on a perception check versus the stealth check to sense where the target is and if they're successful they can then make the attack at disadvantage. That might overpower the spells a bit but it makes it more realistic in my view. If you throw an AoE spell into the darkness, Again I'd require a perception check to guess where he is and if you fail the attacker can straight up still guess with a chance to whiff the spell entirely if the AoE doesn't go near where the DM knows Gallows is actually hidden. And if it's on target I'd still maybe give Gallows an advantage on the saving throw? If that's too overpowered yeah let me know how you approach it. Gallows has little loyalty to his crew. He sees Slab as an easily manipulated meat shield to put between him and his enemies. And if Slab falls, that will usually trigger Gallows' desire to retreat and fight another day. If he does manage to escape, the malevolent whispers of his patron will drive him to seek revenge on the party, seeing them as the ones who robbed him of his right to riches. He will look to hire a new crew, tailored towards defeating the party. His overall illustration design is to give that Wild West villain vibe. He's like a rake-thin gunslinger in a black hat. Next we're going to look at his huge sidekick, the simpleton known as Slab. 
The hulking giant is a simple man who is happy to take orders, especially if it involves causing pain and suffering. He is a vicious and cruel man who goes about his work with a relentless focus, locking on to his next target with an unnerving stare. He never worries about defence, only destroying what is in front of him. His rage manifests as a cold surety, stoically ignoring pain and fully absorbed in completing the task in front of him. Galloway also has four goblins, who have called Sniff, Sauce, Lick and Foe, and his crew. These seasoned hunters are expert trackers, and Galloway finds them useful when stalking prospectors from a distance. Their orders are to identify casters and healers, take them out quickly, though they often enjoy flanking whoever Slab is attacking and going for sneak attacks while the enemy is distracted. Okay, so that's the Gallows crew. I'll leave their stat blocks here so you can print the screen if you want to use them. They are made to challenge level 3 characters. In my playtest, Slab usually dies but downs a few of the players, and after that I decide if Galloway keeps fighting or flees to track the party later with his goblins, maybe ambushing them after they have retrieved the soul jar found in the adventure in episode 16. Thanks for watching, and next episode I finish off developing the town of Dusk, introducing its ruthless mayor and some of the key citizens found in the outlaw town. Thanks for watching again, and I hope to see you in the next episode. Bye.